Hello people of Earth, this is Dan Lockhart of the Ride of the Valkyrie Dan Lockhart YouTube channel. I'm recording an introduction for an episode that we did when uh, one of our best friends came up from the Denver metropolitan area and stayed with us for a couple days. And she wanted to go out for a ride on the Valkyrie, so I took her down to uh, Gunnison to the Pioneer Museum and checked that out. Linda, Karen, and I, and actually we have a whole circle of friends that are former foreign company employees. I worked there for 43 years. I think Linda was around 20. Uh, Karen worked there for like 17 years. And we have a whole bunch of friends that are either still working there or have worked there. So anyway, Linda came up. We had a great time. Spent a few days together. We got to take the Valkyrie out. We got to take the Corvette out. We just had a blast. So I hope she enjoys this episode. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, Linda. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. If I get on first, can you step on? Okay. Do I hang on to you? Yeah. You good? Yep. All right, here we go. Linda and I have been friends for a long time, and I'm sure we're going to be friends for the rest of our lives. It was uh, really, really fun to get to see her and hang out with her for a few days. Uh, it was a beautiful day for a ride. The sun was out, nice and warm. The wind was blowing. It was perfect, actually.
Ah. Uh, did I go. was I moving around too much? Huh? Was I moving around too I much? I didn't even feel you back there. Oh, good. That's how it's supposed to be. Whatever you're doing, you're doing right. Okay, good. <laughs> well, we wandered around the museum for an hour or two, and actually, it was very nice because Rick Jagger, the guy that was uh, kind of the greeter in the uh, museum entrance ask us if we want to use a golf cart so yeah you know I mean this museum covers a lot of territory there's it's a pretty big property so we said yeah so we used a golf cart to get around it's a fun place to hang out because there's uh, a lot of local history that's in the museum as well uh, things like the schools and different events that happened in the local area. It was a uh, it was really really fun day. This is the teaching contract for 1923. The first one caught my eye. Not get married, and to do so would make the contract null and void. This is my friend Linda, standing in front of a manhole cover from, what's the year? 18... 1881 through 1914. That's amazing. Look at how big that manhole cover is, amazing. We were working for the company when they had a celebration for the company history. And I remember at the time they brought in the nitty gritty dirt band to play for the employees in Denver and they had it at the Denver Coliseum. I worked in this building for 10 years. It's at 14th and Curtis in Denver. The farewell of us because the headquarters was to be no longer the headquarters for Mountain State's Telephone Telegraph because we divested from AT&T. 1184. It's hard for me to hang on to this because of my hands. Mm. Oh shit, that, made, that makes a difference. <laughs> Let's see here, uh, there it is. Okay, is that on tight enough? <laughs>